Hello, this video is mainly to show you how to use the new way to search on following like. First, add a task and name it. On the pop-up form, select Facebook to add task. Add an account module to select which account you are going to use to run your task. Add a search posts module to search the post you like. Select the account module as the account source. Here is no module to be selected on the search keyword option now. So, add a time text module before it. And it is to set the keywords to search. Here, you can select one cycle time to search your keywords. You can select day, week, month, and year as the search cycle. Here, we will select week as the search cycle. Now, it is Tuesday on my side, so I select it and then input the keywords on the right side table you want to search today. Select random row as the way of selecting keyword to search. If you do not want to input the keywords again and again, you can input all keywords you need to search on this week. Here, just as an example we won't add more keywords for it. Now, let's go to the search posts module. Select time text module we just added as the search keyword source. Here, you can select time text module as the interference keyword or just let it to be null. The function of the interference keyword option is to add another keyword behind the original keyword to search. Input the search amount you want to search. If you do not want to search your keywords on a specific time, you can also add a text module before the search posts module. Input the keywords you want to search. Same settings like the time text module. Now, you can select time text module or text module as the search keyword source and interference keyword source. Now, add a like posts module. Select search posts as the post source. Select account module to do the operation. Input the run times or just click the run all source button if you are not sure how many times your task will run. Now, we have finished the task. In order to not like the same post again. On search posts module, select delete the row option after the data has been used. Now, this task is finished. Click OK to save it. This video is mainly to show you how to set the search way for the keywords. Now, you can click the run button to run it. Thanks for watching.